Hello, and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. What am I reviewing now? Well, it's nothing special, and I don't really know what the brand is. Um, I forget where I got this too, unfortunately. Um, maybe Wegmans? I no, probably not. But what matters is, is I'm here to review the newest trend in chocolates. So. You know how we've had white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate? Well, there's a fourth type of chocolate called ruby chocolate or rose chocolate. They switch the names around a lot. And so it's just a, it's a, the ruby cocoa beans. They're basically kind of reddish. And so not to confuse it with like raspberry flavored white chocolate. It's, you know, actually, the lighting's pretty terrible here. But... You, you get the gist if you've been keeping up with the trends. So this is just a Ruby Cocoa Bar. I guess the brand's Chocolate XOXOX. It doesn't really say. And it says there's a love poem inside. Choco Love, I guess. Ah! Choco Love is the brand. Where did I get this? Does it say on the package? I ain't got no clue. It's pretty simple ingredients. So apparently this has a fruity taste to it. So that's very intriguing to hear about. Because, but apparently it's a new chocolate. So I'm going to give it a try and tell y'all what I think about it. There is a little poem in here. I'll read that poem for y'all. After y'all do that now. The poem is titled Ruby. The author is unknown. From If You But Knew. I guess that's a book. I don't know. But here we go. Let's read. If you but knew how all my days seem filled with dreams of you. How sometimes in silent night your eyes thrill through me with their tender light. How oft I hear your voice with when others speak. How you mid other forms I seek. Oh, love more real than though such dreams were true, if but you knew. Could you but guess how you alone makes make all my happiness? How I am more than willing for your sake to stand alone, give all and nothing take. Nor chafe to think you bound while I am free. Quite free. Parentheses, still yet parentheses. To love you silently. Could you but guess? I don't know what the heck I just read. Poems, in most cases, you have to really de dive deep to understand them. I remember reading like a a poem about writing poems, but it was in a sports theme. So you had to basically understand the deeper meaning of it. Anyways, what we're here for is to review this. And I think that poem was a beautiful poem, but that's not what we're here for. But I think it helps the review. It makes it special. I hate these wrappers, though. They're so hard. To... So, as you can see, maybe you can't. This lighting's pretty bad. It's a, it's a ruby colored bar. Kind of like magenta, kind of red. I don't know how to explain it. But it's pretty. It's really pretty. Does it taste good? Apparently, a lot of people don't like it. Because of the, the flavor to it. But, you do get a little bit of a fruity smell to it. So, I'm going to give my take on it. What I think of it. And this will be the basis for future reviews of like ruby flavored items and rose-flavored items. 
Um, because it's going to be a big trend. So let me see what I think. That is distinct. That is really a distinct type of flavor. And it does have like a distinct prettiness to it. I've tried enough to review it for now because one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Because that was 80 calories. There's nothing wrong with this. Um, interesting. Because of that fruity hint to it. I would argue there's a little bit of a tang or a sourness as well. Maybe more of a tang than a sourness. But I think overall it's it's good. It's solid. And so I, I'm happy to give that a review. Is it my favorite type of chocolate? No. I think I do like it better than white chocolate because white chocolate's pretty daggone lame. But, other than that, I would say it's probably, it's going to have to fight with dark chocolate. Because I love milk chocolate. And milk chocolate is my favorite. But it will have to fight with dark chocolate for a second. And I think dark chocolate wins over this one. They're saying, I'm going to give it an 8 in terms of just what I think of it. Because it is weird to adjust to. But it's good. And it's not something I would just throw away. I'm definitely going to probably eat this whole thing. Sooner or later. Um, if I ever find the time. But yeah. That's it. That's my review. I think I got one more coming today. And that'll be it. Um, but yeah. I don't. Tomorrow. Half the things I'm eating. Will be things I review, half of them not. So just be ready for that. I'll, re I'll have two things that I review. Um, but yeah, uh, this weekend, don't know what I'm going to be doing. But I'll have some things for y'all to watch and stay entertained with if y'all want to do that. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, do that. You know, that's how you keep up with all my fun videos. Uh, give this video a like and a comment and go ahead and share it so I get my name out there. And really, it's really crucial to share this thing with people. Share it wherever you can. You know, share it through text. Share it on that Facebook thing they be using. Um, check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food, without the review. Because I couldn't fit it in there. But I like that username. So, Redneck Sack and Food, I think it's a very cool username to have. And, uh, yeah. So, that's it. I'll have more coming soon. I hope y'all have a good weekend. Alright.